Why Female Octopuses Self-Mutilate to Death After Laying Eggs After a female octopus lays a clutch of eggs, she does what any new parent would, carefully watch over her progeny. She stays with them in her den, protects them from predators, and blows water over them to keep them oxygenated. But then her behavior turns bizarre, she stops eating and begins to self-mutilate, tearing off her skin, or even eating her arms. She's dead before the eggs can hatch. Now, in a new study published in, Current Biology, researchers describe changes to a series of biochemical pathways that happen after mating, and may be responsible for the animal's self-destruction, point one of these changes leads to an increase in 7-dehydrocholesterol, a precursor to cholesterol. A steroid hormone may be responsible for making young female octopuses waste away and die soon after laying eggs. California two-spot octopuses are normally very active predators, but the females starve themselves while guarding their first and last a clutch of eggs until they finally die, usually at about one year of age. The important parallel here is that what we see in humans as well as in octopuses, is that high levels of 7-DHC are associated with lethality and toxicity, Wang tells New Scientist. And that, to me, is interesting, just because of how evolutionarily divergent these two animals are.